Hello folks. Oh, I'm trying to get myself comfy. How are you? This is so weird. Oh, wow, okay. I have to look over here to see the thing, but the camera's over here, sorry. Hello, Caroline's forehead. Can you not see me? Surely you can see me now. Hello. Um, yeah, I have to look on this side to read the comments. I'm sorry, it makes it look like I'm, I should be looking, should be looking here. Hi, how are you? Hello, Gillian. Audio out of sync, fantastic. James Black, is that my James Black? How are you? Watched you on TV while I clean, just came from Instagram. Oh, hello. Um, I think you can see the comments running up the thing, so I will just sit quietly and answer any that come up. Uh, three lives in a day, I know, a bit knackered. I'm in sync, oh good. Thank you, Kate. I feel weird having to look over there though. Look, look at that, let's cover that up, shall we? Landscape, you can slow the comments down if you want. On my finance accounts, I can watch them. Oh. I don't know how you do anything, so I'm just gonna answer comments. <laughs> um, but there isn't any, which isn't helpful. Can you use Jordan Samuel retinol oil over A plus? Yes, you can. Best product for hormonal spots. Well, Renee's is, no, there's no outfit change. I'm still in my Tonya Mother Tucker. Uh, Renee's anti-bump is brilliant for that. Uh, love my book. Thank you. Um, picture quality is good. Oh, good. Gentle toner for the morning for dry, dehydrated, late 20s. Gentle toner. Well, do you want acid or do you want... Let me go down, back, slow down. Do you want acid or do you want uh, like a proper toner? That's the question. Um, I need to know. Budget vitamin C, the ordinary broke you out. Budget vitamin C. Tried the inky list. They might be similar though. It might just be the type of vitamin C. Uh, you'd like an acid toner. Oh, an acid toner. Well then, they're like, Bob, Bob's your uncle. You can pick as many as you possibly can. Um, acid toner. Well, again, it depends on your budget. So I would say look at uh, Pixie. Um, you looked quite young. So Pixie or... Also, it depends on where you live. Pixie pie. There's lots... Um, and there's 4,000 on the blog. Josh Rosebrook, Deviant, if you live in the UK. Um, the quality is really good. Oh, good. Good. Um, vitamin C and Zellin's D together. Yep. Uh, product heroes for fungal acne. Okay, first of all, fungal acne does not exist. It's not a, th it's not a thing. Um, it is actually a form of folliculitis that you get when you are uh, really common in young men, so Max has it a little bit, forehead, and it's a mixture of yeast on the skin, sweat, and kind of oil and everything mixed in. So you need the shampoo called Nizoral, N-I-Z-O-R-A-L, and you wash your forehead with it, not just your uh, hair. Why am I being so, <laughs> um, so nice oral? But yeah, fungal acne is not a thing. It's a made up term. If you look in any kind of medical dictionary, it doesn't exist. Um, do I agree with Hiram that fragrance and skincare is bad? No, I don't. Uh, do you know any moisturizers that are non, that are non commodogenic Well, most moisturizers are non commodogenic It depends what you're looking for and it depends on your skin type. I feel like I should talk to you here. Um, so, if you're worried about spot, if you're worried about getting sort of having breakouts, just avoid things like really heavy shea butter at the top of the inky list. Um, but yeah. Okay, wait. 
Thoughts on Agent Natur skincare? Uh, I won't use it because the owner is really problematic for me. Really problematic for me. She's aggressive to people that I respect. She is a massive conspiracy theorist. Uh, I don't even mind that she votes for Trump. It's the other stuff. It's the other stuff that's problematic for me. Um, does dark skin get melasma? My complexion is dark compared to my body. Yes, of course, you can get uh, melasma, but it's probably uh, hyperpigmentation. Um, make sure you're using high SPF and uh, some products can trigger it, but it's not that uh, commonly done triggering my product. There's also a section of it in my book. <laughs> what Barbara Stern products would you recommend? None. I think they're very expensive for what they are. Just my humble opinion that I am entitled to legally, as I keep saying. Um, sebaceous hyperplasia, dermal or facialist? Um, probably derm. Always best if you can to go down the derm road for something that's actually a skin condition. Um, and then we'll see what they say. These comments are coming thick and fast. Oh my God, yes, I'll save five, don't worry. Uh, what should you do for under the skin bumps? It depends on what they're from. If they are from hormones and then they're here, that thing around here, then, I, yeah, you keep telling me I can slow down the chat. I don't know how to slow down the chat. Please tell me how, but this is cracking me up. There's like, look, filters. Oh my God, look. Oh, black and white. That's quite sexy. Look at that. Oh, oh my God, look, there's not a mark on my face. Let's just be normal. Otherwise, people will think I'm trying to use a filter. I'm not. Um, is it fine to moisturize with just a face oil? Yes, but bear in mind, you're only adding oil to the skin. You are not adding water to the skin. And a lot of people just need a bit of water hydration, not oil. Loves that filter. I know. I might do like another one time. Uh, what's the difference between a hydrator and a moisturizer? Well, it depends on the product. A lot of them are the same thing. A hydrator would technically add water to the skin. A moisturizer also adds moisture to the skin, but it can also add oil. And it's kind of a trick question because plenty of moisturizers, most moisturizers are hydrators. So I wouldn't get too carried away in verbiage. Check the products. Uh, too much to layer A plus with DDG, retinol, moisturiser. Uh, yeah, you don't need it. Save your money, right? Don't use two products if you only need to use one. Thoughts on La Roche Posay and Clarins? I love both of those brands. Dry, flaky skin behind the eyebrows. What can help? Uh, go over it with an acid, like a lactic is the most gentle. Go over it with a lactic acid, and then you can either use facial oil or you can moisturise. Um... I've got to tell you about under the skin bumps. Uh, well, no, I was thinking you can use things like the anti-bump solution, uh, but it depends how you have to let them come, either come to a head or let them go away. Because when they're under the skin, there's not much you can do if they're hormonal, especially if you are female and they're all here, basically. Treatment for keratosis pilaris on black skin. It would be the same as... Um, on a Caucasian skin, Sandra. Um, I don't know where you live, but there's a product called Ameliorate, which is acids into a... Wait, now, do I have one to hand? Now you can see why I'm always looking, because I always have everything nearby. I don't think I do. I think I took it home. Um, but it basically, you rub it on, and it does uh, get rid of them. Not immediately, but yes. Women shaving, peach fuzz, yay or nay? depends on the woman my peach fuzz doesn't bother me it's not that intense a lot of people especially uh women who have things like pcos and hormonal issues they get a lot of fuzz on the skin their words so then i would say yes you can uh have it taken care of you're looking at the kate somerville moisturizers you mean mine which should have tried your 42 and have dry skin uh oh please hold caller I'm here. Uh, peptide Kate is my favourite. Uh, once, once used, never forgotten. 
Amelia Red versus Sarah V SA for KP. Um, you could use both. And to be fair, I think Sarah V is, is much more available in the USA. So probably Sarah V SA if you're in the USA and then Amelia Ray if you're in the UK. Um, thoughts on wishful skincare? I think if you're a Huda fan, it's fine. I haven't found anything that massively offended me. Um... Did I already scream at people for using the red ordinary thing? No, but I will. Zellens cream and rosacea. Do you mean which Zellens cream for rosacea? Uh, in which case I would say the vitamin D oil, not a cream. Um, because that's pretty phenomenal. Can you use Luna every night? Yes, you can. I've just realized that a lot of comments are repeating. It's like they're on a cycle, so that's good. I'm not as panicked. <laughs> How does one ask one's GP to prescribe retinol? They probably don't. They probably won't. So I would, there are two in the UK, because you said GP, so I'm assuming you're in the UK. In the UK, there are two brands. One is called Dermatica. I'm just gonna make my chair higher because I look really weird. Uh, one is called Dermatica and one is called Skin In Me. And they both do prescriptions via the post. Uh, and they're great. Uh, at the moment, Skin In Me is winning for me because they do azelaic acid and niacinamide and mixes like that. Um, and so, yeah, they're very good. I like a lot. How do you store the mother dirt moisturizer? Yours is leaking. Oh no, is it? It's a shame. Turn it on its side. If you need to wedge it upside down. So this isn't it, but you'd have to wedge it in something upside down. But I haven't heard of anything leaking before. That's a shame, sorry about that. Any products to get rid of your sun tash? Uh, yes, again, depending on where you live, you can do prescription via post. In the USA, it's Curology. And in the UK, it's Skin and Me and Dermatica. And they will prescribe you uh, things like hydroquinone um, at a legal percentage. Um, hydroquinone, um, azelaic acid, niacinamide, things that will help because what you don't want to do if you have dark skin tone is use the wrong product because you can make it worse but don't worry if you are prescribed it yeah like curology if you are prescribed you should be good to go because they take good care of you um what's the benefit of using the mother dirt mist who should use it? so the mother dirt mist is if you don't know is live bacteria in a spray i don't have one here to demo because we took them home and we've used them but Mother Dirt Mist is amazing for um, everything, any kind of skin condition. So acne, uh, rosacea, psoriasis, pretty much any skin condition. Um, and it genuinely absolutely works. I have no financial connection to that brand and I've never done any sponsored work for them or anything. So. Just a genuine recommendation. Um, can you use the Dr. Dennis Gross Gentle Pads from the Spring Kit while on Dematica for acne, not trip? Yes, I would imagine. What are you on? Maybe a Duac type thing or an Adapalene. Uh, but if it's sore when you apply it, that's your cue to get the hell out, like stop. Thoughts on Tarte knockout treatment? I found it really quite a raw formulation people keep saying it's a dupe for p50 it's nothing like p50 i think it might be here actually because i bought it back um, oh yeah it's here hello me oh make sure i sit down on the chair uh this one so the tart knock knockout tingling treatment is nothing like p50 uh does retinal cause spot it can cause you to purge a little bit when you first start using it, but it shouldn't give you spots. It's supposed to help you with spots. Um, your son has psoriasis in an awful location. Has he used the mother dirt spray and the spray has given him greater relief than prescription ointment. I'm not surprised by that at all. It is amazing. Uh, advice on hyaluronic acid injections for dark circles. If you mean filler, uh, filler works when used for dark circles because essentially they come in here through a cannula um, and basically the filler sits in front of the dark circles and that's why it works it doesn't get rid of them it hides them uh, clearly i have not had that done <laughs> advice on milia treatment get them removed get them removed professionally 
Um, make sure you're using an acid. Make sure you're keeping your skin well hydrated. Uh, oh, I can turn the fan off. Hang on, you might want to add a mic. Oh, I can't be bothered getting into all the mic situation. Um, can you use the Pixie Retinol Toner and an acid in the same nighttime routine? I'm new to trying retinol in your mid-20s. Uh, do you mean like the Pixie Retinol Toner and then like an acid toner? You wouldn't need both. Pick one and stick with it. Or alternate them every other night. Don't uh, worry about... Don't try and use too much at once on your face. It's too much. Can you use anything on your son's pre-teen blackheads? Yes. You can use uh, salicylic acid, um, generally BHAs. So Paula's Choice make the most famous one. It's a BHA solution, but all of the more affordable brands do them too. So uh, The Ordinary, The Inky List, Garden of Wisdom, all of those kind of more affordable brands do them. Um, is vitamin C necessary love the osteo oil but wondering how necessary it is in my routine and it depends on your age and your lifestyle i love a vitamin c i use it every day i love the osteo one and i love the summer fridays one i was really nicely surprised by the summer fridays one um is p50 okay in the morning before vitamin c p50 w um yeah you can use it am or pm I would just make sure it's, uh, you give your skin a little bit of time in between them both. And it depends on what vitamin C you're talking about. If you're talking about a really strong one, then I would probably not. But if it's just an average vitamin C, then you'll be okay. Can you use niacinamide alongside Differin? Um, you can, but I wouldn't use like, say, for example, the ordinary niacinamide powder. I wouldn't make up your own and do that that way. Um, if it's a formula situation, then yes. Uh, but again, don't go crazy trying to do everything and don't do everything too strong and don't do them all together, if that makes sense. Should sensitive red skin avoid fragrance? Um, you're probably better off if you've got sensitive red skin avoiding particular products or um, groups of products than you are fragrance but certainly some fragrance like if i was to, if i had a compromised skin barrier which i get sometimes if i'm doing tret and i use say i don't know i'm just get, thinking of something really perfumed chanel or guerlain or like a longcom something traditionally old school that's really fragranced yes my face would sting it would not be great why don't i like the ordinary red acid thing well I'm glad you asked because it's not that I don't like it. It's just that it's being abused, especially on TikTok. So this is 30% AHA, 2% BHA. It's a peeling solution. Uh, if you're unaware, it looks like this. It is, I'll give it to you there. It is bright red. And that's why it is really popular on TikTok in particular. Um, it is to be used at the most for 10 minutes. I have to look at the left because that's where the comments are. Sorry. Um, it is really, really popular on TikTok and it is being used by the wrong people in the wrong market at the wrong time. They're also abusing this and doing this do not take it from the pipette. There is so much wrong with those videos. Uh, there are much better options. So if you look at things like the ordinary niacinamide, this one, let me see if that's better, there we are. And then the salicylic acid 2% mask. Um, they are better for you if you have particular problems that normal, younger skins have also a younger skin a teenage skin has to my mind has absolutely no business putting a 30 percent glycolic on their face you have absolutely no reason to put a 30 percent glycolic on your face um you're much better off with a niacinamide or a salicylic acid 
and I know that you want something affordable, so I've stuck to the ordinary, but just don't, just stop it, please. And I haven't done the reaction videos yet. I am planning to, I've just been so busy. I'll do them probably over the weekend when I'm at home because it's Bank Holiday Weekend in the UK. Hurrah. Um, do you think if I turn it, let me just stay there. Let me see if it, what it does to the questions if I move it. Sorry if this means, oh no, the operation's locked. It won't let me. Next time I'll try and do it the way that we do it on Insta and then we'll see how we go. Because I, I just like the comments are all here. And I know I should be talking to you and looking here and being like, hi, but I can't because I can't see the comments. Advice for bumps under the skin. We've done that. Would azaleic be suitable for a younger and darker skin? Yes, Sandra, azaleic, fantastic. Azaleic's great, pretty much for all skins. Also, azaleic is used frequently for people who are pregnant and are being steered away from retinoids. What's the other place other than Dermatica? It's called Skin and Me. Skin and Me and not and a and d skin and me uh that's the uk curology is the other one in the usa wearing a mask at work makes my skin in that area super dry any super moisturizing re re sun cream rest yes yeah, so if you are wearing if you have mask knee or if you're super dry you need really good moisturizers but you can the problem is you can only really use them when you get home and you've washed your face because if you use a really rich moisturizer in this area it will completely um, you run the risk of making the barrier with your mask no good. So do it all when you get home. Suffer through. <laughs> and then there are great products. You can use your normal moisturiser that's a bit thicker, or you can use things like um, Dermalogica Barrier Repair. is a fantastic product if you get dry. Um, what do I think about Bacucciol? Does it really work like a retinol without any irritation? No. Bacucciol is not a retinoid. It is not a vitamin A. It is something that was tested a couple of times and people said, oh, this has, this has good results and there's no irritation, which is fantastic. But why? Why are we telling people it's a retinoid? Stop it. <laughs> Spironolactone thoughts. Uh, yeah, if your doctor recommends it, by all means, try it. It must be that you have, um, they must have had a reason to do the prescription, right? So try it. Uh, retinoid is vitamin A, anything vitamin A. Um, what was the name of the product good for psoriasis? Mother Dirt Mist. Well, that's the one I think I've just mentioned. Mother Dirt Mist. Is a water gel better than a moisturiser for really oily skin? Oh, uh, yeah, it can be. I've got a couple of water gels. Things like Belief and Dr. Jart, they both do water gels. Um, they are certainly lighter. What's the difference between Dermatica and Skin and Me? Um, they're different companies. At the moment, from what I can see, Skin and Me have more available than Dermatica because I, I said to my for my Dermatica prescription I wanted to change it to a smaller um, tret percentage tretinoin percentage and then add in some azelaic or and and or some niacinamide and they didn't have azelaic I believe available yet but Skin and Me does so I've been getting it from Skin and Me. Um, do you have any tips for graduating to post isotretinoin and reintroducing skincare? Hello, Joshua. Yeah, you need to build up your skin barrier. I imagine you're probably quite dry, I'm guessing. Uh, you may not be, it's a sweeping generalization, but if you are quite dry, then yes, I would, um, I would certainly look at adding uh, nice emollients to your skin look for things that are glycerin based as opposed to things that are purely like hyaluronic acid based um and then try and don't use anything too harsh because the problem you have most people when they come off of a roaccutane or a really uh, prescriptive prescription led routine is that your face is clear maybe for the first time uh, in a long time and then the problem is you still treat your skin as if you have acne, but you don't have acne anymore and you need to look at what you're using. So I would look and check that the skincare you routine you have, I'm gonna to talk to you, is not <laughs> the same that you were using before you had your treatment because it could very easily become too drying. Is the CeraVe SA smoothing cleanser the same as the CeraVe renewing SA cleanser? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know, because I do know that a couple of CeraVe things are different in the UK and the USA. 
I have the SA cleanser. That's the one I love. How much does Trek cost if you see a derm? Uh, it's not that it costs a lot for the Trek. The Trek's about 40 quid prescription. The derm appointment is where you spend your money. Uh, what does vitamin A do for the skin? Vitamin A regenerates. Uh, it's a true uh, reversal of aging product and proven. Uh, thoughts on Sunday Riley Good Jeans? I love Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Just bear in mind that in the USA it's lactic and in the UK and the EU it's glycolic. Have I tried the Pixie Clarity to uh, Tonic? Yes, and there's a post coming about it on Monday. Uh, Long-term use of Duac, okay. Uh, yeah, as long as you're under your doctor and your doctor's checking your skin, uh, I mean, you would hope that the problems you have with your skin, you would grow out of or that they would sometimes go away. So I would look at seeing if you have to use it long term. Hopefully you won't. Um, what do I think of Nobel Panacea? Crazy price. I haven't seen that one, actually. I don't know that range. Sorry. Would I recommend the Body Shop Vitamin C Mist? You really need a mist. No, I, there are better mists mists um, available, it depends where you live again. If you live in the UK, you can do things like Cerazinc, you can do La Roche-Posay um, Tellurian Mist, which is brilliant and it's glycolic based, so it's nice and gentle for all skins. Um, hello, Jason Kessler. Um, vitamin C not in oil. You want a vitamin C that's not in oil? I don't know what your question is. Over-the-counter retinol in the evening, benzoyl peroxide in the morning. is If it's necessary, benzoyl peroxide and retinols are both quite strong. So it depends on if it's necessary. You know, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go crazy. Um, hang on. Favourite products from traditional brands like Chanel, Guerlain, Lancome and Dior. Uh, I don't have many, to be honest. I think there is better uh, on the market. Most independent brands are better than the old sort of big. The only ones I still really use are, I use the odd thing from Lauder, like I don't mind advanced night repair. Um, I use Clarins. I use Clarins more than I use Guerlain. Chanel Hydra range, I really, really like. Um, but it is Chanel and it's fragranced. So if you have a problem with fragrance, don't even look at it. Um, did you mean to say the mist was glycolic based? Glycerin maybe. No, it's glycerin based. It's a mist. It's glycerin based. I know what I'm talking about. Don't worry. It's a mist. It's glycerin based. Um, favorite affordable exfoliant. I think I've answered that question, haven't I? Pretty sure I have. Um, can I use glycolic acid toner and then retinol? How long do I wait between each application? Um, you can. You don't have to. Uh, it depends on your retinol. If your retinol is in an oil base and it's milder, then you're okay. If it's in, if it's a stronger retinoid, I wouldn't. I think it's too, it's too much. You don't need it. How to stop pimples around the mouth for oily skin? Depends. If you mean all around here, I would go on to my blog and check perioral dermatitis and see if any of that rings a bell. If it's not that and it's just spots, then you can just use your normal spot treatments. You can use salicylic acid, things like that. But if they're here and it's a lot of groups of redness, then I would search salicylic, um, I would search perioral dermatitis. Best lip moisturizer, hang on. Best lip moisturizer mask that's long lasting. I don't know really. I don't use a particular lip mask or a lip moisturiser. I use Charlotte Tilbury's lip oil, which I think is in here. Maybe it's not. Oh, yeah, it is here. Hang on. This one? You can tell I like it. Look. The Charlotte Til Tilbury lip oil I love. Uh, but I don't really... I don't think I've ever bought a separate lip mask, to be honest. Um... Is it better than the Clarins lip oil? Yeah, the Clarins lip oil to me is more cosmetic. The Charlotte lip oil is a lip oil. Makes sense. Thoughts on growth factor products? Um, I'm generally not a fan, but I'm, I, they work, but I'm not the biggest fan purely because my mum had skin cancer and I am very aware that when you have any kind of treatment for a carcinoma, melanoma, um, 
you are frequently given anti-EGF medication and that's what EGF is what is in growth factor, epidermal growth factor. So I'm, I'm wary, but I have friends who love them and things like um, BioEffect. I mean, BioEffect's one of the best selling lines on British Airways, well, it used to be. Uh, so I'm, I'm wary is probably the best way of putting it. Advice for acne scarring. It depends how bad your acne scarring is. It depends if it's fresh, if it's fresh and it's pink, you can certainly, you can certainly target it <laughs> by um, using decent product. So you could use retinoids, are still the gold standard. Um, if, however, they are deep and you're looking at what we would call uh, the different type of scarring, you can do things like subcision with only, with a doctor or a derm. Uh, and I would be careful Googling that if you're not good with needles, but subcision is S-U-B-C-I-S-I-O-N. And they basically break up the collagen fibers between your scar and your skin with a needle and then they treat them. So it basically removes the, it's almost like, like a pitted scar is like an anchor, right? So think of it as you, your skin is damaged and it leaves a mark and it, and it almost anchors your skin, which is why you get the pit, the pitted. But what the subsition does is that it breaks up. Yeah, it's quite grim. It breaks up the, it kind of cuts the ties. That works, but it is not for the faint hearted. Um, but it would work. Otherwise you can do um, azelaic mixed with niacinamide and retinoids to sort of have brightness and to also help alleviate scarring. Can you use liquid exfoliate day and night? I think it would be too much personally. Um, I think you only need it once. Someone told me tretinoin increases your risk for skin cancer. That's not true, Jason. That person is not telling you the truth. Uh, what are the best ingredients and treatments for texture? Um, well, again, acid and vitamin A or tretinoin or retinoids, acid and retinoids, either or. When did I go on tret? Kind of, I haven't, I'm not on it permanently. I think it's been like, I think it's been like a, like a year and a bit where I've sort of had it on order and then I, because I don't use tret when I'm trialing other things that can clash with it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I mean, you know, it's the gold standard. So advice on dark blue veins under eyes on pale skin. There's not a lot you can do. You can, there are certain procedures you can have, but they would all be quite invasive. A lot of the time I do think it's worth you just get a good concealer. And I know that's not what you want to hear, but I'm not going to lie to you and say this cream will fix it. Do I still consider Biologique, Lotion P50 or PRG Research Superior? Yes. Yeah, it's by far the, the best acid available. In terms of for what you want from an acid, right? Like, definitely. Um, but it's, it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. If you were not trialing other products, would you be happy to use Tret constantly? Oh, I would, yeah, but I'm 51. You don't need Tret every day if you're 20. Absolutely not, unless, of course, you have what TREP was started for, which is acne, in which case you would be under a doctor's care anyway. Okay, I've always been invested in your skincare, but was really rooting for Rihanna when she came out and shared from a platform about that all skincare is for men too. Uh, I don't know, I'm confused. What did, what did she say that you weren't happy with? All skincare, oh, that her skincare is for men too, maybe? Yeah, you can use Rihanna's skincare, it's fine. So cleanser and a lotion and a moisture and an SPF, you're fine. Thoughts on thoughts on the best first aid beauty products. Um, I like the acid pads. I like the thicker cream. I can't remember what it's called. It's the one in the pot. It's really bad. Um, the uh, and I like the oat stuff, but I can't bloody remember what they're called. Um, which products are best for fresh acne scars? Again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but probably Tret. 
nice bit of trip. Um, vitamin A, can't go wrong, people, can't go wrong. Um, went to your Aubergi, use Tret and the blender. Do I need to keep on using the blender? With Aubergi, you use your, you put, you're not telling me you put your Tret on with the blender. You need to let me know if that's what you mean so I can answer your question properly because that's a bit odd. Thoughts on Kipra skincare? It's extremely expensive for what it is. Um, probiotic cream is good for acne prone skin. Um, I would say the jury's out, personally. I think you need to, you're better off looking at what you cleanse with and what you're treating with. Thoughts on Lush moisturizers? They are very thick and very uh, basic. Um, thoughts on the R retinoid serums by Medicaid? I love Medicaid, it's a fantastic brand. They've been in nearly, I think, every kit I've done so far. They are great. Is Kate Somerville Nourish disc being discontinued? Yeah, they ha they are reformulating it. Um, I mean, I love Nourish, it's one of my favorite moisturizers. They are reformulating it to become part of a new range, but they have assured me it will be back. <laughs> Thoughts on Dr. Sam Bunting skincare? I got on with love Dr. Sam skincare except the cleanser. Everything else was fine. Uh, you've been purging from Sunday Rally, Sunday Rally Luna for four months. You finished the bottle months ago. Any advice, please? If you finished the bottle four months ago and you're still purging, then you've triggered something and something's not quite right, Amber. Um, it, it doesn't mean that you can't use a retinoid. It might just be that it's it's caused some other kind of problem. It's really hard to say with a question like that without seeing your skin. How do I help spots caused by infection with a beard? Um, Anthony for Men does brilliant beard products. They have um, pre-beard acid. They have post-shaving oil. They do all kinds of things and they are where I send any of my um, gentlemen clients with black skin I generally send them to Anthony for men unless they need something professional strength but with the spots that are caused by an infection if you mean it's an ingrowing hair then I would use acid pads to get it off and then something soothing on top but yeah check out Anthony for men and it's not extortionately expensive um it was originally made by a man it's been sold now to someone else I can't remember who but it's a great brand for boys with beards basically can I beg Kate to release a massive bottle of peptide Kate? Well, when it was called deep tissue repair, they sent me a salon size, maybe like five, six years ago, maybe even longer. And it was a 500 mil. Oh God, it lasted me ages. It was amazing. Do I like any of the Cosrx products or overrated? The ones I've, I've played with are fine. They're not like my first brand to go to and be like, oh my God, this is amazing. I need this now. Um, but yeah, they've been okay. Mists all year round, absolutely. Um, can I use the Dermalogica Moisturizer from Kit2 after Tret? Yes, you can. You keep sniffing the Demamiel Press Serum, it's delicious, it is delicious. Uh, yes, the Dermalogica Moisturizer that was in Kit2, Intensive Moisture Balance, is perfect uh, after Tret, absolutely. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna do like five more minutes because I've been talking since four o'clock. Um, is the P50V the strongest version in the UK? No, P50 original is the strongest version. Just P50. That's the strongest version, sorry. Excuse me, won't you? <laughs> um, Sunday Rider continued. Your skin was always clear before, but now it's continuously getting white bumps and spots. Not sure how to fix and haven't used retinol since. Okay, so in that case, I would get a prescription retinoid, but I would do it via... Uh, depending where you live. Hopefully you're in the UK or the USA. I would do it via Curology, Dermatica or Skin and Me. Um, Kate Somerville, Kate, K8 in the morning or night, both. You can use it AM and PM. Do you have to take a break when using retinol or can you use it all year round? You can use it all year round, but you don't have to use it all year round. If you're older, it benefits you. Like it benefits me using um, a TREP all year round because I'm older, right? But like I said, if you're not, then don't. 
Can you use Medicaid 10 TR Intense on the nose and in between eyebrows? Yes, you can. Of course you can. Um, thoughts on new Elemis Butter Cleanser. I don't think I've used that yet. I think I've got it here, but I haven't taken it home. Oh no, I've got the AHA Glow Superfood. Oh, is that it? It does say butter. It's here, I haven't used it yet, sorry. I'll, maybe I'll take it home. <laughs> um, best eye cream or serum for wrinkles, crepey under eyes. Oh, there's loads. Um, you could do, I mean, to be honest, most brands do them and it depends where you live. So Jordan Samuel does a light eye gel. Let me just check on my shelf. I can show you some. There's loads. Okay, there's. I'll show you what I've got. That, so that, what's the end of it? This one is my eye shelf. <laughs> uh, Beauty Pie, great. Um, Murad, great. Embry Elise do a great eye cream. Uh, the EGF eye cream is really nice, but we've already covered EGF. Um, Dennis Gross, Kate Somerville line release, but that's not, um, those last two that I mentioned are not the most affordable. So it depends on your budget. Um, thoughts on La Mer. I don't use it. My mum loves it. Personally, I don't use it, but my mum loves a rich cream. She's got lupus. So she's very obsessed about her skin getting the rash. She doesn't want the lupus rash, understandably. Um, you're really struggling with whiteheads that might, don't go away. You have endometriosis, so you're not sure if it's connected to that. Um, you pick them and they come back. They can stay for months at a time. Well, if you have endometriosis, it is highly possible that they are related to your hormones. Can you afford to go and see a hormone specialist? Because if you have endometriosis, you probably should be doing that anyway, if you can afford it. Um, I would, that's what I would recommend. Can I use a product if it exceeded six month shelf life? Uh, yeah, have you opened it? And is it really um, like fresh and does it claim to be clean? In which case the preservative system will be useless? Then no. If it's a normal product with a normal preservative system, yes. <laughs> um, oh my word, it's like they disappear and come back. Thoughts on Pericone? Uh, I like Pericone. I used to use it a lot more in the past. I don't know why I haven't used it that much lately. I think because there's just so much competition and I'm always trying newness. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. But there's nothing, I like the brand. Are broken capillaries treatable? Yes, but not with creams. You need machinery and intervention. You can have them um, zapped. So we have a machine, well, I don't have it here, but we have a machine that is a bit like a, it's a microcurrent and you hold the electroly electrolysis needle. Like, let me see if I can find, I oh, mind you, I've put concealer on. Let's say that this bit of pigmentation was a broken capillary. You hold the needle just into the surface of the skin. You, we use our feet to charge it. So your feet, your foot presses the pedal, it charges the electricity and the, electric, the electricity blows the vein in a very safe way. It sounds really bad. Um, in a safe way. And then they're gone. They're completely gone. Uh, I know people have success with laser, but it tends to come back with laser. Snail, mucin, love or hate. I'm not a fan of using snail products on my face. That's just me. Can I just say, by the way, that the last time I said I wasn't a fan of using products with snails in, I got accused of being racist towards Asian people. And my response was, well, do you mean people in East Asia or are you talking about Asia as a whole continent? And also that's just rubbish. Just because someone says they don't like using snail does not mean that they're racist. That's a reach, Barbara. Um, do you not care for EGF? Yeah, I can kind of explained earlier. It, it works. I'm just wary of it from the cancer point of view. Um... Best beginner acid for TRET user with sensitive skin. Zellin's PHA, DDG peel pads, you're 42 with chin acne. Uh, you could use either. They are both. They're two of my favourite acids. So you're fine with either of those. PHA is slightly more gentle. Dennis Gross will have glycolic. So if you're using TRET, you might find that Zellin's is... Um, Zellin's is... More... Uh, lenient towards your face. Um, 
Is La Roche-Posay vitamin C serum worth it? Uh, depends what your budget is. It's good, but there are better ones on the market. I don't know, that's racist against snails. I know, tell me about it, it's ridiculous. Anti-aging skincare for young skin. The best anti-aging skincare product for somebody who's in their early 20s is SPF. There's no better anti-aging skincare than SPF if you're in your early 20s. Uh, thoughts on home steamers? I'm not a fan, I wouldn't bother. But then I am very lazy when it comes to home skincare. I would rather be, I would rather have it done by someone who's a pro. And also I get quite red in the cheek. So I'm not big on steam anyway. When people, when I have a facialist with good facialists, they know, they can tell by looking at my skin that I would tend to go red here. So they put damp cotton pads on my face and steam the rest and that works fine. Thoughts on QVC products, Junior, Judith Williams or Declior? Um, I don't know enough about Judith Williams, but I like a bit of Declior. It's fine. I think the thing with that you're going to need to remember with brands like Declior, Clarins, Darfan, anything in that French sort of spa treatment family is that it will always be um, uh, feel and sensorial experience first and then the efficaciousness is not as strong as it is with some brands but some of the products that they make are beautiful uh, but for example none of them make a super strong retinoid it's just not their bag you know that makes sense any favorites from Darfan? yeah i did a post on Darfan yesterday went up yesterday love it p50 in pregnancy yes you're fine p50 in pregnancy um I'm going to do a few more questions and I'm going because it's making my eyes go funny because the comments are over here. And next time I do it, I might do it this way up. We'll play with it, shall we? I saw a couple of good products and a couple of good questions and they've gone. So do I know any good estheticians in Scotland or Glasgow? Yes, there's one called Jen uh, in Zen Lifestyle, which is in Edinburgh and I believe Glasgow. Um, she, I was a presenter at the Babtac Awards last year and she won best facialist and then she won the best overall and she's in edinburgh she's also on instagram as oh god jen i follow her so look for who i follow she's jennifer i want to say mcgargill or something like that i just call her jen so i don't know um should people of color be using slightly different products and is there anything to avoid in particular no not really um, nothing that you can buy over the counter will do more damage to your skin. And if you're buying something prescription strength, you would, you'll have to be talking to a doctor or a derm anyway. So don't worry about it. And if you have any questions, my friend Deja Ayadole is a brilliant black facialist. Um, she's a, or in the, if you're in the US, you would call her a master esthetician. And she talks happily about how she will happily do a glycolic peel on a darker skin. And I've done videos with her as well. So you'll find my video with her from earlier this year um, on that, on this channel. What do I think of the Think Dirty app? And if so, what do I think of clean products? I hate both of them with a passion. I think the Think Dirty app is offensive and clean products are a load of bullshit. You must be new here. <laughs> Right, five minutes because I've got to go home and have some dinner and... Okay, thoughts on A313? It's fine. I don't think it's as amazing as people say it is. It's fine. It's a very mild retinol, retinoid. Thoughts on Drunk Elephant Baby Facial? Uh, I think it's too strong. I don't think anyone needs to be using that percentage on their skin outside of a clinic environment. I think the problem that we have, and that's all, again, comes from things like this, is that people see something like this and think that they can replicate what someone like I could do on them in a clinic at home and you can't. You can't. A 30% glycolic peel with a proper pH that I would do would be completely different to this 30% and the pH is 3.6. So um, that's one of my bugbears is people thinking that they can replicate or get rid of someone with my skill set. I mean, not me in particular, I'm not treating at the moment, but you know, my friends, um, and that they can replicate it at home. You can't. So 
when we do things like you can try this at home it means like we'll just give you things that tide you over but if you want to have a really proper facial you're going to have things done to your skin that you cannot do at home um advice for breakouts caused by ppe i did a whole instagram live it's on my instagram channel um it's saved as an IGTV, but it, I'll tell you now, it was back in like March or April. It was at the beginning of lockdown when everyone started to get the problems. Uh, but in essence, you do what you can during the day or during the night, during your shift. If you get home, when you get home, <clears throat> you take off your mask and then you, you basically cleanse with something really, really good that's not particularly foaming because you, your barrier is already disrupted. So think about things like... Um, uh, again, the CeraVe SA is a great cleanser. Um, <clears throat> uh, acids afterwards, and then really light moisturisers. Jen Glenn at Zen Edinburgh. There you go, Jen Glenn at Zen Edinburgh. She is lush. Um, for the Darthan Purifying Bal Balm, are you using it as a final oil? Yeah, the Darthan Purifying Balm is thick, so you want to... And I don't think I've got one here. Lou, yeah. have I got any Darfan purifying balm here? Sorry. Okay, cool, Tar. <laughs> uh, Lou is my sort of office manager slash assistant slash right hand slash if she leaves me, I'll die. And she knows where everything is. She literally just said, no, it's at your house. <laughs> uh, the Darfan purifying balm is a, a thicker balm. If you think of a cleansing balm, it's thicker than that. You open it up, you scrape your finger across the top you get, is the Darfan Purifying Balm good for acne prone skin? Yeah, that's what it's for. Maybe the top edge of your fingernail full, take it like this. This is not a therapist wipe situation. Take it like this, rub it, melt it in your fingers, and then go straight to where you have the biggest problem. Massage it through, I love it. It's one of my first, Darfan Purifying Balm, I think was the first product I ever fell properly in love with. I mean, I don't need it as much now because I was using it when I was in my look, 20s and 30s. I don't need it as much now, but it is. Um, can facials cause acne breakouts? Mm, not good ones, no. We're there to fix them, not make them worse. Derma E products. Don't know enough about Derma E. Sorry. Should you use actives on the body if you want to? I can't be bothered. I've had four kids. I'm 51. I'm not going to use an expensive cellulite cream. They do not work. Why would I bother? Thoughts on Jordan Samuel Sierra Antioxidant Serum? Funny you should ask, because I just oh, demoed with this earlier. Uh, this is Jordan's sim Serum. Uh, what I love about it is that he hasn't made it a funny colour, like a funny yellow or dyed it yellow to make people think that it's... Um... Oh, no, that's the retinol. Oh, I picked up the wrong bloody one. Sorry, guys, but it's the same brand. Good job I looked, isn't it? Um, I love anything Jordan makes I like. Easy. Easy answer. Is it like the CeraVe healing ointment? What, I assume you mean the Darfan purifying balm. Uh, no, the CeraVe healing ointment is a much thicker cream and it's for a different thing. So the CeraVe healing ointment is for a dry skin and Darfan is for any skin, but predominantly normal combination. Uh, I'm going to do two or three more questions and then I'm going home. Healing soothing mask on a budget, Versed. I put them on this morning yesterday, Versed. If you're in the US, you get them anywhere. And if you're in the UK, you get them at Cult Beauty. Um, they are under £10 and they have, it says 12 plus. Let's see if there's any more here. I think I've taken them. They have 12 plus in them. So you can use away. Um, is Darfan Balm a second cleanse? No, it's a leave-on treatment. The Darfan cleansing balm can be a second cleanser, but the purifying balm is a treatment. Very different. Thoughts on ordinary products? I like the ordinary. I don't like all of it. I like 80% of it. I don't like... Um, saying I don't like is wrong. I would say I'm not a fan of putting in the hands of mainly young people, because it's mainly young people, their audience. Uh, don't come at me. I know that for a fact. Um, it's making them feel that they could be like chemists. And you can't. So things like the niacinamide powder, 
I think is a step too far and I think they should reconsider perhaps selling that. Um, Mad Hippie products are fine and affordable, but not necessarily like, yay. What happened to the Drunk Elephant video with Tiffany? Well, her head of NPD, Nathan, was pretty disrespectful and horrible about me. So I took everything down. Because screw them, frankly. Why would I leave up a nice video that was perfectly pretty much endorsing them and then have him slag me off? No, kiss my ass. Um, best cleanser on a budget, CeraVe. <laughs> Um, do I think a retinoid and then the Darfang purifying balm would be a good combo? Kevin Sue, I do. However, I would say make sure your retinoid gets a good, because Darfang purifying balm, you only need a little bit, remember, like less is more, grip, not slip. Um, Darfang purifying balm is quite rich. So do your retinoid, leave it for at least half an hour, an hour, and then Put your Darfan Purifying Balm on. I love that. Oh my God, I'm going to go home and use it. You've inspired me. Um, thoughts on Augustinus Bader products? Expensive, unproven. Uh, my big thing is, if you make such a, if you make such a fuss about, if you make such a fuss about this amazing ingredient that you have, I have questions. So if it's so unique, why haven't you patented it? Things like that. Now, maybe they're in the process of doing that. I don't know. Kit one's already changed your skin. Oh, that's amazing. Good. Uh, I love copper peptides. I'm just going with the questions. It's 4,000. So look, if you can avoid, avoid, that's a Freudian slip. I was going to say, if you can afford Augustinus Bader, Bada, Bader, then knock yourself out. Would I spend my money on it? No. Uh, and that includes the Victoria Beckham version. No, there's not enough proof to say to me, like, where are the clinical trials? Don't say that something can do this and charge two, three hundred pounds and dollars for it if you don't have a clinical trial. I just, I think that's just fair. No, if I was bringing out a product that was 300 quid, like, it would need to carry your shopping home for you. Do you know what I mean? Right, well, I think we've all learned something here. We've learned that if I turn it into landscape, my eyes are gonna kill me and be looking over there when I should be talking to you here, but I can't, because then I can't see the comments. So I think next time we'll do it right way up. Um, you need a budget skincare routine recommendation. Check the blog, babe, there are loads. Or just hit up those certain brands. Do uh, The Ordinary, do The Inky List, do Garden of Wisdom. Uh, any of those. Thoughts on Oskia Super 16 Serum? There's not a product that Oskia make that I do not like. Oskia take science seriously. They, um, they really care about their consumer. I love Oskia. Uh, I'm not paid by them. I just love the brand. Um, I'm just checking if there's any that we haven't really... What's that about the book? I've received your book. Is there another to follow? God, no. Like... It's called The Ultimate No-Nonsense Guide. I don't know anything else. <laughs> I've already done some tweaks for the next run. The next reprint has got some tweaks in it. Nothing like life-changing, don't worry. Um, I can read the comments from my phone. But then how would I go live? If, why would I read? The, you mean if I turn it the right way around? I don't understand what you're saying to me. Do I look technical to you? Come on. Help. Salicylate sensitivity. Uh, so I say, well, then don't use it. I mean, sometimes it's just common sense, right? If you're allergic, avoid it. Um, no, read from a second phone. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Now I feel like the 51-year-old grandmother-to-be that I am. But yes, I understand what you mean now. I will look into it. And now I understand when I watch someone doing a live stream, they were holding a phone while they were, I, I get it. I tip my hat, I get it. Um, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, I'm going, I will definitely do it again. There's no Sunday Riley update yet. As soon as I have a Sunday Riley update, I will let you know. Um, 
oily skin but dry neck any advice yes just use a different product on each it's really really rare to have an oily neck you generally have we all generally have a drier neck um it's hyaluronic acid all it's cracked up to be i love a bit of hyaluronic acid i know there's this massive movement away to sort of scare people away from it but in the right formula and this is the problem in the right formula it is a spectacular ingredient that's all i can say right uh i will see you all again soon um if you have not um like if you have only just bumped into me there is a blog with about 1600 blog posts on it it's really easy to find it's carolinehirons.com um it's been around quite a while there's a lot on it so go and have a read of that if you're unsure of anything and i will see you all soon